Hello. Even though school is out, it is never too early to start youngsters busy by making back-to-school supplies. This tutorial by Needlepointers.com will show you how to create an inexpensive, simple pencil case with scrap fabric. This is another sewing project in our Kids Sewing Series or Beginner Sewing Series. What you will need is a piece of material that is 10 inches by 9 and a half. The 9 and a half is going to be the top of uh, the pencil case. You also need a piece of Velcro that is about 6 inches long and it is so on Velcro. First thing to do is turn the fabric wrong side up and we're going to press it a quarter of an inch along the top. Then we're going to turn it down, turn it again down about a half an inch. Now if you're a beginner sewer I recommend that you put a few um, pins in to hold it in place. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, as you see I've done that and I'm over at my sewing machine now. We're going to stitch close to this fold right here. And I'm using black thread uh, so that you can see what I'm doing but you probably would want to use a thread that corresponds to the material you have. I also suggest that when you're doing these, the pencil case, that you use maybe a little bit heavier material, um, such as uh, quilted, duck cloth, upholstery material, um, denim, something like that. And as you see, to do this project, I didn't back tack at the beginning or the end. You really don't have to. You can if you want to. But I didn't because we'll be sewing the sides together. The next thing you do is you're going to position your Velcro in the center of where you just sewed, just a little bit from the edge. And we're going to pin it in place. And I'm going to right away, I'm going to pin the other side so you can see what I'm doing. Do the same thing, just a little bit down from the top. Try to center it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch the Velcro in place. You'll stitch close to the end, go all the way up, around, and then stitch along the bottom and to the top again. And when you're sewing, you really should remove the pins as you're going along. Turn, and I'm going to stitch along the other side. Down and then along the bottom. And here I will back tack so that the thread, the stitching does not come out. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to stitch the other side, the Velcro, in place. As you see, I have the Velcro sewed on. The next thing you do is fold it in half. And 
and we're going to sew it the sides using a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to pin it in place there. Okay, quarter of an inch. This time you should back tack when you're doing it. Start at the top of your project and go down. The next thing you're going to do to prevent it from fraying is zigzag along the uh, side. So I'm going to show you. Let's okay, now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Quarter of an inch seam allowance and um, I'm going to zigzag. As you see both sides are now seamed. Just turn your pencil case right side out. And there you have your pencil case. It's a very simple project. You can make it longer or larger if you'd like just by um, making the original fabric a different size. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button, share it with friends, and comment. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss future videos. Also visit our website, needlecorners.com, for lots of free projects and craft information.